Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on sequences and series. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the links to the playlist containing all the videos on sequences and series. In this video, we'll be looking at geometric series. The sum of the terms of a geometric progression is called geometric series. A, B, and C above are examples of geometric series. In A, the first term is 2, and the last term is 64. And if you look at this, the common ratio here is 2. Since 2 times 2 gives 4, 4 times 2 gives 8, and so on. In B, the first term is 729, and the last term is 1 over 9, all summed together. If you look at this, the common ratio is 1 over 3. So, the same thing in C. Now, the general formula for finding the sum of any GP are Sn equal to A into R raised to power N minus 1 over R minus 1. This is convenient for R greater than 1. Sn equal to A into 1 minus R raised to power N over 1 minus R. This is convenient for R less than 1 where n is the number of terms, a is the first term, and r is the common ratio. These are the formulae we shall be using in this video, depending on the series. So we go ahead to solve some examples. Example 1, evaluate a, 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus as far as 12 terms. B, 729 plus 243 plus 81 plus 27 up till 1 over 9. And C, 1 minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.125 plus as far as 10 terms. So starting from A, we have the first term to be 2 and the common ratio, we remember the common ratio is 4 divided by 2 which gives 2 or 8 divided by 4 which gives 2. So the common ratio here is 2 and our N is 12 since we are to find the sum of the first 12 terms so here the common ratio is greater than 1 so we shall be using sn equal to a into r is power n minus 1 all over r minus 1 so that s12 since n is equal to 12 is equal to a a is 2 into 2 raised to power 12 minus 1 over 2 minus 1. So having substituted, we have a 2 times 2 raised to power 12 minus 1 will give us 4095. Then since this is over 1, so we just multiply out to have 8,190 as the sum of the first geometric series represented in A. So we go to B. For B, our first term is 729 and uh, our common ratio which is 243 divided by 729 we have it as 1 over 3 and uh, here we don't know the number of terms so we can get the number of terms from the last term so we have our last term to be 1 over 9 you remember the nth term of a geometric progression which is still the same thing as l equal to a r raised to power n minus 1 so we now use that 
to get the value of n for the geometric series. So we have 1 over 9 equal to 729 times 1 over 3 raised to power n minus 1. So writing everything here in index form of 3, I have 1 over 9 as 3 raised to power negative 2. This is 3 raised to power 6, then times 3 raised to power negative n plus 1. This 1 over 3 is 3 raised to power negative 1. We use the negative 1 to multiply everything outside the bracket, which gives negative n plus 1. So we simplify these two. So we have 3 raised to power 7 minus n. Since this is multiplication, it's going to be 6 minus n plus 1, which is 6 plus 1, which gives 7 minus n. Since the bases are equal, therefore the indices are equal. So we have negative 2 is equal to 7 minus n, where n is equal to 9. If I take this to this side, it becomes positive. Taking this negative 2 to the right hand side, it becomes 7 plus 2, which gives 9. Since we've gotten the number of terms, we can go ahead to find the sum of the series. So that we will now use the formula since R is less than 1. So the formula will be Sn equal to A into 1 minus R raised to power N over 1 minus R. So that we will now have it as S9 since our N is 9 is equal to a which is 729 into 1 minus 1 over 3 raised to power 9 then over 1 minus 1 over 3 so we have 729 times 1 minus 1 over 3 raised to power 9 gives 19,682 over 19,683. Then 1 minus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3. Since we are to divide by 2 over 3, it becomes times 3 over 2. So if we simplify this, we have 9,841 over 9. So we can now go ahead to write it as mixed fractions. So that we have it as 1093 whole number 4 over 9, which represents the sum of the series in example 1b. Then we go to 1c. For 1c, we have our first term to be equal to 1, and our common ratio here will be negative 0 0.5 divided by 1 which gives negative 0 0.5 and uh, our n here is 10. For your information it is just convenient for us to use um, a particular formula so it's only that anyone you use you still get the same answer. What we are just trying to avoid is negative values so we can just use any one here, Sn equal to A into R raised to power N minus 1 over R minus 1. So that our S10 will be 1 into negative 0 0.5 raised to power 10 minus 1 over negative 0 0.5 minus 1. So since this is 1, we are going to have negative 0 0.5 raised to power 10 minus 1 as negative 0 0.999023 over negative 1.5. Since negative 0 0.5 minus 1 gives negative 1.5. So our final answer is 0 0.66602. To five decimal places or five significant figures. 
and that is the end of solution to example one so we go to example two for example two the sum of the first five terms of a geometric progression is 363 the common ratio is 3 find its first term so what we do here is we are giving the s5 to be 363 also we are giving the common ratio to be 3 and we are looking for the first term so we use our formula sn equal to a into r raised to power n minus 1 over r minus 1 the choice of this is because r is greater than 1 so our s5 which is 363 will be equal to a into 3 raised to power 5 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 remember our n is 5 so to simplify this i still maintain this here this is and the 3 raised to the power 5 minus 1 gives 242 then times a gives 242a all over 2. we now cross multiply so that we now have 242a is equal to 726 that is 363 times 2 after cross multiplying so our a is 3 if we divide 726 by 242 so we are done with this we've gotten the value of the first term which is 3 and that's the end of solution to example 2 and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please share with your loved ones you might be helping others until we come your way again goodbye